everybody, it's Anne from Annalise Creates, Annalise Creations. I hope you're doing well today. I'm working in my junk journal again. And I hadn't forgotten to turn on my mic um, after I'd used it for a periscope. Um, scope, scope, scope. And I'm showing you what I did on that periscope scope in my junk journal. And I was just winging it. This isn't my best work. I, I don't know, I think I was feeling nervous and couldn't come up with anything and that was what I came up with, was this crazy looking bird. So if you're going to follow me on Periscope, hopefully next time for the past brush event I will do much better. Anyhow, so I'm coming back over, I was just showing you um, some of the pages that I've done in this junk journal my way. And I'm coming back to a page that I had just sewed but haven't added anything to it. And so I just sewed it and there's kind of a lady showing through here. And I'm showing you the front again. And now I'm back to the page. Yeah. And I have no idea what I'm saying here. I'm probably saying that a uh, junk journal is a great way of practicing uh, a something that you might want to put on a canvas eventually so it's great to you to practice in your junk journal because that's what it's there for it's to practice and not worry about ruining any of the pages or making any learning type mistakes because to me there's no such thing as a mistake in art only learning experiences such as the pass the brush one where I don't feel like I did very well in that periscope it was because I wasn't very well prepared. Learning lesson right there. So I'm starting with some Americana acrylic paint, the crafting paint in buttermilk. And that's what I'm gonna start with um, adding for this background. Do something here, okay? And part of it is playing. You, when you, you know, to prep for like a canvas, for instance, I haven't done many canvases, like I've said. So I'm kind of experimenting for a possible canvas. Um, and it's in colors that I normally do not work in either. So it is a it is a learning experience. Okay. So I'm working in this page on my junk journal, and that's a great way to practice if you are preparing to do a canvas and you're not quite sure whether it's gonna work out or not, it's a good idea to get out your canvas and work. You know, I mean your junk journal and experiment work and see if it's gonna work for you okay so I'm gonna come in and I kind of didn't want to get this paint on this other page it looks like I have and that's okay because it's just it's gonna blend in with this page anyway so it's all right for now okay so I'm going to spray along here and remember I did this layout a while ago it's one of my favorite layouts so far of this junk journal, one of my favorites. It was inspired by a boot advertisement that was on this side and I liked the way it was and so I just kind of altered it. But this one's going to be different. This one's taking me kind of out of my comfort zone, but it's going to work, I think. I think. We'll see. <laughs> like I said, it's a learning experience, isn't it? Okay. So next, I'm gonna take some gold. I'm gonna go in the middle, right here. And I'm kinda using an old brush. I think I need, I think it's almost time for me to get some new brushes. I think it's about almost that time for me to get some new brushes. So I'm just working with some of the true gold and the Traditions Deco Art Artist Acrylic Paints. And I'm just playing. In fact, I might use my finger for this. 
my fingers gonna work out better than a paintbrush. What I'm gonna do here. And I am gonna have to go over and do another layer of the gold paint. Let this layer dry first. In between the coats. All right, so I'm taking out my oil pastels and I'm getting a blackout. It's the Caron d'Ache Artist. I think it's oil pastel, or actually I'm gonna use my portfolio ones. I've got a black one right here that I wanna use. These portfolio oil pastels, they're water soluble also. Um, and they're made by the same company that does the Crayola crayons. Okay. So I'm just playing, experimenting. Okay. And I'm coming in and I'm going to use this light gray in value eight it's called and we'll see how light it is I may have to come in with a um, a lighter color I might have to lighten it up with a little bit more white which I might do because it looks a little too gray for my liking I'm not sure we'll see once I get this down might just come in with a little titanium white to mix it in a little more, but we'll see. And like I said, I'm just playing in here because, yep, it's a junk journal, so it doesn't have to be perfect. That's what the fun part of these junk journals is. You can use actual junk, like junk mail, etc., to create art, but you could also use paints, like I'm doing today, okay? and oil pastels, and just other kinds of mixed media stuff that you could put in here, you know, to practice. Practice some new skills that you might have achieved at some point, like in a lesson, or if, you take, if you've taken any lessons from other artists. You know, it's a great way of practicing and just experimenting with the color, letting it, you know, just playing, like I said, playing away. And you can actually mix colors directly on the paper. Okay. And I always prep these with either, you know, regular white gesso or, you know, if you wanted to do a black background, you could use black gesso or clear gesso if you're altering a page. You could use clear gesso over the images or whatever to help get, you know, so the paint will stick to the paper. Okay. So that's an idea. So I'm just playing, like I said, I'm just playing with what I'm doing here, okay? What I like about the uh, portfolio oil pastels is if you take your heat gun and you get it all heated up, it melts. It gives it almost like an encaustic type effect on the paper. It's really cool. Very, very cool. See, if I go close up, you can see that it's melted a bit into the paper. Isn't that cool? And my suggestion is that you put a fixative over this when you're done so it doesn't smudge or smear later on. Um, 
I usually use a spray fixative, but you could use uh, Daddy Vans. It's called Furniture Polish. It's all natural. It's unscented, uncolored, and you can rub the wax into the paper to, cover, to protect it and seal it. But I've used it and it's okay. I mean, it's okay, but I prefer to use just a permanent spray fixative, one that's a matte fixative so that it doesn't get sticky and your pages don't stick together. Okay, so next I'm going to take, I'm going to pause for a second and I'll be right back. As usual, my arts room is a mess today and yeah, it's, it's a mess. So finding things is like next to impossible sometimes, you know? Do you find yourself that sometimes you spend more time straightening up versus creating? I feel that way a lot. So anyways, I've got this stamp that I can carve myself and I'm going to go ahead and add it in some, in some areas. This ink is, is kind of uh, going dry here. I need to re-ink it. That's what I need to do. But it'll just have to do for now because what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably outline it a little better and paint it over it anyways. It's just kind of giving me a guide of what I'm going to do with it. So, yeah. Okay. So a smaller brush and come in with the light gray again but this time I'm just going to put it on a piece of wax paper here and my fan is going because it's kind of warm in here so I'm yeah, trying not to get it to fly away balancing out the picture a little bit. my Stabilo All Pencil. I need to sharpen it first. I always keep a pencil sharpener close by to sharpen my pencils or whatever I might need sharpening. Okay, so this is what it looks like. The Stabilo All, if you've never heard about it, it is, it is water soluble. It is, an, it's made by, it's made in Italy. It's good for paper, glass, plastic, and metal. It'll mark on all of that, as well as fabric. Okay, in case you're using it on fabric to mark something with, and then, you know, you just want a temporary marking, it works great on that. Whoops, and sometimes this is what happens. And I don't like wasting my Stabilo All pencils. They're not exactly cheap. So I don't like wasting, but yeah, that one's going to have to go. Um, Blick stores 
sells the Stabilo all and they also sell it in the store. So often when I go to Berkeley, California, that's where I go a lot to pick up art supplies because there's not a Blick in my town, in my city. So um, rather than paying for shipping, sometimes they have free shipping, not always. Um, to avoid that, I will go into, the, into Berkeley, which is about a 45 minute drive, depending on traffic. Um, pick up some Stabilo pencils and they sell them also in yellow, blue, um, yellow, blue, brown, and green I believe. So if you wanted to use different other different and white I'm sorry and white. So get the white right. I'm just loosely coming in and putting this in like this. some definition to my picture. And like I said, these I suggest that if you're going to go over with the Stabilo All to uh, do a uh, to uh, go over with a fixative and like here I kind of smudged my hand into it into the paint I mean not the paint but into the pencil so it's smudged a little bit but I don't care because I think it's just adding a little more character to the picture let's see now one more thing I'm going to take some carbon black actually let's see I'm going to take some phthalo turquoise along with some black and I'm going to do some spatters. Yep, I've been into spattering these lately. Yeah, I have been and my um, fan brush is downstairs soaking. So I'm just going to use this one. So I'm using a toothbrush. you got to use what you got. Use what you got. And I'm using the Fluid Acry Acrylics by Deco Art, the media line. I'm going to use some Payne's Gray to start. So I'm going to put a little bit down. And I'm dipping my brush in it. And I may have to thin it out a little bit more. May have to. Oh, maybe not. I might not have to. <laughs> sometimes it works, and sometimes you got to add a little bit more water for it to splatter but it worked this time it worked it worked it worked i'm just trying not to spatter my other picture here okay i just added some light spattering sorry let's zoom in so you can see it better see the spatter just the spatter i'm gonna zoom out again Because I'm experimenting. I kind of want to do a canvas in this color, these colors, um, yeah, for an area in my, in my uh, entryway to my house, from my garage to the ent entryway. I have a small entryway from my garage to my house, and there's a picture that could go up there. I'll be right back. My phone's ringing. Okay. okay, so this one I have to add some water to because it's just not splattering the way I want it to. So I'm coming in with some splatter using the, some phthalo turquoise. I'm just going over. And I'm getting my splatter on. Okay. I'm going to add some of my fingers. I'm playing, see? Play with your fingers too, just by doing this. Getting some on your finger and kind of just letting it drip on your finger. There we go. I like that. Okay, that worked out really cool. Cool, cool, cool. Too cool for school. Sorry, I know I'm weird, guys. Bear with me. Okay, so there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed doing it and please like 
and subscribe to my channel if you like what you see and share and I shall see you next time. Take care, toodles. Listen to some music. It's good for your soul. Bye.